All right, let's just brush that down a bit. There we go, and we're halfway presentable. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am here to do some makeup stuff. Uh, my name is Pejo, uh, XO Pejo, Pego, P E I G O, Pejo. It's pronounced Pejo, big O, right? <laughs> but yeah, if you don't know me, um, I am a makeup and fashion enthusiast. Um, I, I don't know how to describe my makeup, but it's easier just to show you all the magical whimsy. So if you like it, you can follow me on Instagram, XO Pejo, on my Twitter as well. You know, all that good, good. We can talk, we can be friends. <laughs> it's allergy season. Um, I was able to pick up a uh, Madonna X Too Faced collab here, and basically, um, I got both of them because <laughs> I couldn't decide. So I picked both, and you know, we got a nice little little black one and a pink one, which is cool because I, I think this is a good representation of who I am as a person. I like dark things, and I like pretty pink things. <laughs> I love pink and I love looking scary. But yeah, so I'm gonna be reviewing these and be using them in a look today. Um, we're gonna do a little, a little, something a little creative. So I'll be reviewing them, showing you what's in these products. Um, the first one here is, uh, this is probably really hard <laughs> to pronounce and um, it's not gonna sound good coming out of my mouth, but Come for me. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so this first one here is the black one. Uh, this is the Me, uh, Me Medellin Collection, you know? And in here we have uh, an eyeshadow palette. Um, it comes with a signature, oh, I don't want to, it comes with a signature um, Too Faced liquid uh, matte lipstick, which I love these lipsticks. They're really good. And this one is a really good red. It's called Lady Balls. We don't talk about that, but it comes with a liquid eyeliner, like a little felt pen. It's waterproof, so that's cool. Always love a waterproof moment because, you know, sometimes days are hard and maybe you'll cry, maybe you'll fall in a pool. I don't know. Either way, it should have you covered. Um, and then we have a DM girl. <laughs> is that mascara? DM girl mascara. <laughs> and here is the palette. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take her out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her out on a nice little date. I'm gonna take her out. Take her out for dinner. All right. So they are um, very travel size, which is cool. Because um, I mean, sometimes palettes are too big. <laughs> and this one's a very travel size size. Um, it comes with a highlight, which is why this right here is so blinding. Um, it's a highlight for your face. This one's pretty cool because it comes with like a black shimmer and another kind of. Um, it's kind of more like a gold shimmer, like a golder tone. Not gold gold, but it's still like in that ballpark of like, mm, that's gold. And a nice kind of nude pink. So this one is very fun. Look at that. Wow, baby. She's shiny. <laughs> um, so we're going to be using a mixture of both of these. Just to get a full taste of the experience. Mm. All right, buddy. So the second one here is called the Eye Rise Collection, and it's kind of similar. It's a little different, obviously. It has a different, um, a different matte lipstick in here, and this one's called Sellout. I'm not gonna talk about that, but it's a pretty nude color. We have the iconic Better Than Sex mascara. Spicy. And we have a chocolate brown eyebrow pencil here, and the palette right here. This one's really cute. I actually like this one a lot. Um, it comes with a blush. It's very pretty. And some nice burgundy kind of nude colors. And this right here is a... Girl, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this right now. And it comes with a pretty like shimmer, like a gold. Not, like a, not a gold, I don't know. It's kind of like a rose gold. All right. A nice shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer color. There you go. Mm, yummy. Eat that up. Someone get me a fork because this is delicious. So I did want to share some swatches here of both collections. This one right here is the Eye Rise. Um, some of it is very subtle. Um, payoff, pretty good sometimes. <laughs> and this is the um, the Madeline Collection. This one I feel like is kind of superior. The payoff is definitely there. Um, these are empty. And we're going to get started. I got, uh, I got a tube top on. Just so you guys don't think I'm f***ing nuts. Um, 
put this on here and get that out of my face and we are ready all right we're gonna be starting with priming the face i'm gonna be using a moisturizer and the hydro grip primer and i'm just gonna apply that all to my face so we can be nice and moisturized then I'm going to be taking a grease paint by Mayron and using a foundation brush, a brush, brush, <laughs> okay. And um, we're going to be using an oil-based paint so it doesn't need water, it's just a little slimy to apply. And we're just going to apply that all over our face as our base, because this is going to be um, a white, kind of like a cartoon look. We're going to push that down to our neck and you can blend it with like a beauty sponge or a little like... SFX blender thing. I don't know. It's like a spongy thing, okay? And, and you're good. You're good. And then we need to smash it all over our eyebrows, okay? Yeah, we just want to erase those. And then we're going to take a Mayron setting powder in a fluffy brush and apply it all over our face and our body. This will set the cream makeup in place. Then we're going to take a real thick packer brush and use the shade into the groove and apply it on our crease. Dab it slightly and then just blend it all soft. Then we're going to take a smaller packer brush and pack in the pigment on our crease and we're going to blend it out with the thick brush. Then using the little baby brush, we're going to um, pack it under our eyes because uh, we're, we want to look real grungy. We're going to blend it out again with the big brush. Then switching on over to the Eye Rise collection, we're going to use the shade Eye Rise and we're going to apply it to the tail end of our blend and we're going to kind of just make a circle and blender out. Then using an angled brush, we're going to create a winged eyeshadow. We're going to blend that Eye Rise shade in into the groove. You're just gonna apply that shadow at an angle until we look like Black Swan. Quack. Then we're gonna take a flat packer brush and blend the Eye Rise shade under the eye. And we're gonna take a flat fluff of okay, flat fluffy brush and use the shade Material Girl. And we're gonna apply it to the inner corner of our eye and blend it upward. And then we're gonna also apply it to our brow bone. We're gonna gently kind of blend that upward as well. And then we're gonna blend them all together, baby. Then we're gonna take the shade with the um the bad word, the bad word that YouTube don't like. And um, we're gonna apply it to the inner corner of our eye as well and uh, blend that upward. Now we're going to take the wonderful dark shade here, Dark Ballet, and using our angled brush, we're going to blend it ever so slightly to add some depth uh, to our winged shadow. Then using a packer brush, we're going to deepen those edges for the drama. Just pack it on in there. And then using Sugar Pill Red in a packer brush, we're going to go ahead and add that to our under eye. And then we're going to take the same red and packer brush and apply it to our crease, blending it back and forth. Um, this is a very, um, My Chemical Romance inspired revenge era. Mm. Then we're going to take our Holy Grail primer and a flat brush and we're going to do a cut crease. I know cut creases are kind of intimidating, but honestly, guys, it's just like half a f***ing circle, okay? Everybody passed geometry, it's, it's half a circle. Then using the shade Like a Virgin, we're gonna go ahead and apply that with a flat brush, okay? Because you know what? Your eyes are a treasure, all right? We're gonna add some f***ing gold to it. And then we're gonna take the black shade again and blend the black into the gold for a smooth transition. Just think of those like Star Wars transitions from the 70s. And uh, this shade right here is called Come Alive, so it's gonna be a little, a little awkward for all you guys who are uh, dead inside. Hey. But um, <laughs> we're gonna use it as a blush and blend it as a contour. Now we're going to actually contour. Um, we're going to take the black shade and a contour brush and we're going to just kind of really uh, emphasize our non-existent cheekbones. We're also going to blend it onto our forehead as well. Who is she? District 12 who? Then using an angled brush, we're going to go ahead and follow the contours of our collarbone. We're going to color them in. We're going to color them in like a little, little coloring book of our bones. And then taking a very small detail brush, we're going to use our Mayron Makeup Palette. This is a water-based face paint. And we're going to go ahead and paint some uh, red squiggles. Some awesome red squiggles on our face. Again, it's all shapes. And then with the same brush, we're going to go ahead and use the black and paint some X's onto our face and uh, neck kind of area thing. Now, if you're ready to kill a man... We need eyeliner, okay? We're gonna go ahead and take the Better Than Sex Too Faced Waterproof Eyeliner here. I start at the inner corner and then kind of curve upward. I like a really dramatic wing, so I'm just, I'm going all in, baby. I'm gonna add some gel liner to the waterline. All right, this is where we're gonna get 
a little wild here. We're gonna use our eyeliner. Dude, dude. <laughs> We're just drawing them on with eyeliner, okay? Just make an arch, fill it in, you're good. You what? And of course, eyelashes. Gotta blend it all in with some damn girl mascara. And because we stand Marina Dimidis in this household, we're gonna add a little bottom lash. This is a single lash, that's it. And since we are going for the drama, the tea, we're gonna go ahead and add this bold, juicy red shade, uh, Lady Balls. We're just gonna curve it all onto our lip. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're gonna use an angled brush in the shade Eye Rise, and we're gonna add some contour, kind of like a deep bending of uh, like shading on our lips. Cause I want depth. I love depth, you know? Except in the ocean, those, that's fucking scary. <laughs> now we're gonna use our Better Than Sex eyeliner. We're gonna add some like little detailing to our lips. Um, basically kind of outlining it like a little, little cartoon. And then using a really thick brush, we're gonna um, add some more of that blush onto our neck and our shoulders. Uh, this is just to add, I don't know, dimension, color, just to make it look cooler. And after that, we're done. So for these palettes, um, I'm really satisfied with them. Honestly, I really do like them a lot. I think they're very fun, very versatile. You can do smoky eyes, you can do glam eyes, you know, I think, and you can do like natural eyes too with the, um, this Eye Rise collection here. This one's fun, the blush is great, honestly. It's very subtle though, because I have a white base and this is all that's really showing up. So I mean, if you don't like blush, but you kind of want a little, little flavor, a little spice, a little pink in there, this would be great. So this is very fun. We love her. And then the highlight is very cute. It has like a pink iridescence in it, which is adorable. Um, the black one I think is my favorite, the Madeline Collection, um, just cause I, you can make like a real grunge eye with it. You know, you got the black, you got a nice little shimmer in there. And the highlight is actually really cute. Um, I like it's here. I like this one a lot. This is probably my keeper. And this one comes with an eyeliner, which is great because I cannot live without eyeliner. Okay. And this, we did that and we did that with eyeliner. So not bad. Um, it is a little on the drier side. You kind of have to like <laughs> stab it sometimes to get it going. But other than that, I mean, the felt tip is great. She's ready to stab and murder and we love we don't love murder actually. Um, they both come with um, mascaras. Damn Girl mascara I think is a little kind of clumpy, which isn't like the funnest, but it still gets the job done. Better Than Sex is definitely the um, superior mascara in my personal opinion. Not that it matters, but. And then obviously it comes with two liquid lips. I'm right now wearing Lady Balls um, <laughs> lipsticks. From Too Faced, you can't go wrong. They're liquid melted matte. I mean, it's amazing. They are they stay, they're long lasting, they're pigmented. All good, all good things when you're buying high-end makeup. I'm not wearing this one, so I'll go ahead and like swatch her. It's definitely like a nude color, very pinky. Definitely cute for like an everyday wear. Wow. I'm about it. The only thing I didn't get to was the uh, eyebrow pencil, mostly because I don't use those. It's like a chocolate brown, and that's not what I like to use. I think they're pretty good, you know, worth the money because they're travel size, you can do versatile looks with them, and these um, items alone are pretty much around $20 to $30 themselves, so to get a whole little eye palette and like possibly a highlight or a blush, I think it's a really great value for high-end makeup. So I mean, if, if, if <laughs> it's pretty good. Gaga, you look so good. If you enjoyed watching this, if you enjoyed the art I created, please do go ahead and check out my Instagram. I do looks like this all the time. I really do appreciate support. So if you do like the video, please leave a like, leave me a comment, give me, give me, give me, give me some, some, some talky stuff. Talk to me. Um, you know, check me out on Twitter, all that good, good. I don't know. Any support is uh, very much appreciated. You know, I am a starving artist and, um, you know, validate me. Bye-bye. <laughs> say bye-bye, Pop-Up. Say bye-bye. Mama, say bye-bye.